time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On J- this morning by our daily Instagram contest, uh, good tickets up for grabs. Highly sought after tickets, Taco Bob. Sold out UCF, take it on Cincy this weekend. All you got to do if you're not following us on Instagram, it's at 1011 WJRR on Instagram. We tell you, we give away prizes every day there. Good morning, Bulldog. Taco Bob doesn't need tickets to the game because he'll be up in the <laughs> luxury suite. Oh, can it? That was one time. Uh, yeah. Actually, he's not going to be able to do that because we're going to be at Monster Jam on uh, on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I've, I've heard, um, you know, obviously UCF losing to East Carolina last week in the way they did heading into this huge game against Cincinnati. I've heard, like, you know, the game has lost a little bit of steam. I'll give you that. But for anybody to think this game doesn't mean as much as it did is is out to lunch here. Mm-hmm. UCF, you, you look at UCF's schedule. You look at what's going on around the other group of five programs, right? UCF still has everything in front of it. If they run the table, which, again, is a big if considering how they played against East Carolina. But then they're they good, the right? Table, then they're good. If they, and who's good? Then UCF is good if they run the table, right? Well, yeah, they're good. They win the conference. They likely still have a chance to get into the New Year's Six Bowl game, the Cotton Bowl. So what did you really lose by losing to East Carolina? Nothing. If you win the conference championship and you get to the Cotton Bowl, that's all you're going to accomplish anyway this season. Is, it, is so, the American winner uh, guaranteed the Cotton Bowl? Not, a, not guaranteed. Because I mean, they have the loss against Louisville, too. That, yeah, they, they would be if they if they run the table and win the conference championship game, which again is a big if. I understand that, but they would be eleven and two. All right, uh, it's the highest ranked group of five team okay. gets that. So so it, it would be, you know unless Coastal Carolina gets in ahead of them or maybe Boise State if Boise State runs the table, UCF still has an excellent chance. Uh, again, if they run the table, of getting the group of five bid and, 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 and of course, winning a conference championship. That's the goal for every team. So I don't, I don't think UCF really lost that much except for, you know, some cachet yeah. by losing to East Carolina. It was embarrassing, but, I mean, okay, we shot ourselves in the toe with that loss, but we can still do well if it's all in their hands. It's not over. So come on, keep the hype alive, man. Absolutely. Well, Doug, I'm surprised you're so uh, alert and at it this uh, this morning after uh, staying up to watch your Lightning last night lose on the uh, West Coast to the Kings four two. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a debilitating blow <laughs> for our team. They're they're, they're three will. and four. I mean, come on, we, it's it's we'll we're seven games into the season. It's early in the season. They get it's another go tonight at Anaheim. Yeah, it's not not time to start tanking yet. If you're the Lightning, <laughs> uh, speaking of tanking, did you did you see what David? David Stern. I was going to say David Stern. You see what Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, said the other day? Oh, they're monitoring the tanking situation? They're monitoring the tanking situation, and he half-jokingly said, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking at a, at a relegation system. Uh, so you know, sort of like English soccer does. If you if you're not you know if you're tanking and you're bad, you get relegated to a lower league. Now he was only he, send you to the G only, League. <laughs> would that be awesome? That'd be great. That would be awesome. In, in fact, not just the NBA. I would like to see uh, the NBA is not really set up for it because the G League, the G League doesn't yeah. have. I guess you could set it up. You know who could? You know who? <laughs> you know what sport is set up for a relegation system? College football. College. I mean, can you imagine, like, the SEC s- sending Vandy down to, like, the Sun Melt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, I could. I could. That would be, college football is set up for relegation. I would love to see all sports leagues in this country do relegation. It would end the tanking. It would end the load management. Oh, we're going to rest tonight because, you know, it's a back-to-back. No. Play every night. 
work hard, try to win every game. That's what sports is supposed to be about, and that's what the relegation system would do. Hey, Bulldog, is it? Of course, uh, being, of course being a Magic fan, that would that, yeah. know, not mm-hmm. be pleasant. The Magic would be playing in Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop. I, mean, I can see the economic <laughs> impact, too, is uh, huge. Uh, hey, uh, so uh, is, is, is the uh, swap with the Merchant of Death back on the table now that the uh, appeals court in Russia has denied Brittany Griner her, uh, yeah. her appeal process yesterday? Good. Yeah, so. So yeah, they 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 uh, turned her down, which wasn't surprising no. because they're still trying to bargain. As you're right, you're right. They're still trying to bargain to get the Merchant of Death uh, back over to Russia in exchange for Brittany Griner. We had a listener go, "Oh, what's the big deal? It's a washed up arms dealer. Let him go back for our people." I, I, no, that's it's that's not the point, dude. That's not the point. The guy's called the Merchant of Death. Even if he's old, as the guy said, old, quote-unquote, old, washed-up arms dealer, still, he's got connections on the phone, man. I'm sure a speed dial, you know? Absolutely. Speaking of uh, politics and sports, did you see that Aaron Donald, uh, star for the L.A. Rams, maybe the best defensive player of our era, and Jalen Brown, star player for the Boston Celtics, and a bunch of other people uh, and companies like Adidas, they've all... Um, broken ties with Kanye West for his anti-Semitic remarks. Uh, uh, Jalen Brown originally said he was going to stick with Kanye West. Uh, I guess Kanye West has a huge uh, management company. He's a billionaire, obviously. So they've broken um, ranks with Kanye West. It's become a big deal. In Over his world. anti-Semitic stance. Now, let me ask, can I just ask a devil's advocate question here? Because I'm just curious. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm just curious. Yeah, what? Okay. Is, is Kanye West anti-Semitic, or does he have mental health issues that are uh, screaming to be attended to? I, or I both. Know. Because, I mean, yeah. to attack somebody who might potentially have mental health issues, generally that's frowned upon, is it not? I'm just asking. Why would, why would, I mean, well. He's could, clearly you could, not thinking straight. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just asking. Could you say that about anybody who makes a, a, a racial comment? No, 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 come on, come on. This, Kanye has had uh, documented strange behavior for many, many years now. On a well, whole variety you, of things. Speaking of that, speaking of that, uh, I told you Aaron, D- Donald, Jalen Brown, and others have broken ranks with Kanye West. Did you see who's sticking by Kanye West? Speaking of mental issues. Oh, boy. Who is it? Uh, a- a- B. Antonio Brown. I knew it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I just guessed that out of the blue. So to Lynch's point, maybe you're right. Birds of a feather. I, I, I again, you know, it, it is a huge problem in this country, and uh, you know, it, 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 still what, doesn't forgive it, what he did. For the record, absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely, and that's not what I'm saying. But he is, he is. He does have mental issues as well. So, it's, I mean, anyway. So, anyway. All right, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, uh, if you need more sports, always uh, there for you on FM 96.9 The Game, where he hosts Open Mike. He's a sports columnist for the Orlando Sentinel. He treats us to the dulcet sounds of a grown man barking to conclude the sports page every morning here on JRR. By the way, Florida State coach Mike Norvell will be on our show at 8.15. Oh, oh!